Hi, this is Matt with Amalinks Pro. Right now I'm gonna show you how I create product specific sidebars. And in this case, sidebars that stick, or at least widgets that stick to the top of the page as a user scrolls down. So this is my demo site and post for the Coleman Classic Pro paint stove. And you can see as I scroll down on this post, this image and this buy on Amazon button, which are both specific to the product being reviewed on this page, they both stay on the page. So no matter what else is showing on this page, there's always an image and a buy on Amazon button, which gives the reader you know, plenty more opportunity to always see the links to click over to Amazon. So I'm gonna show you how I do that right now. So first we need to install a couple of plugins. In addition to Amalinks Pro, we also need this custom sidebars plugin, the Q2 W3 fixed widget plugin, and the short code widget plugin. And I will have links to all of these below the video. So after you install and activate these, head over to your widget area. You can see this particular theme had just three widget areas, one for the blog sidebar and, and two different footer areas. This custom sidebar plugin, what it does, it allows you to create as many more sidebars as you want, pretty much an unlimited number of sidebars you can create for your site. So in this case, I've already created a separate sidebar for the Coleman Classic Pro Paint Stove Review. You can name the sidebars to whatever you want. I'll open that up. You can see I already have all of my different widgets in there. So I'll show you how I inserted first the product image. In this case, I used HTML. You could also use Amalinks Pro short code for the image if you want. But in this case, I used HTML, so I'll show you how I did that. You would drag this HTML widget over where you want it, but I've already done that. And you can see I have the HTML code in there for the widget. The way you find that, you can open a brand new post, use Amalinks Pro to insert an image into the post, whichever image you want and whichever size that you want for your sidebar. So once it's there, we click over to the text tab and you can see this is the HTML code for that image. So I would copy this code and then go over to the widget area and paste it right here. And if we want that to that Q2W3 fixed widget, what that does is adds this little checkbox right here. If you want it to be a fixed widget, you put a check in there and then you would hit save. So now we have the image in the sidebar and it is set to be a fixed widget. So for the CTA button, it's a similar process. We need to drag this shortcode widget, which this is not a default WordPress widget. That's why we needed to install that plugin for the shortcode widget. I would take that and drag it up to where you want it in your sidebar. Open that and we would go back to our post, back to the visual editor. And this is the shortcode for the CTA button. We would copy that and we'd paste it into here. Again, click this to make that a fixed widget and then you would save it. So that, that's it for the image and the short code. Then I have a couple of other things that I put in this one just because it's my demo site. So after you have your sidebar created, it's there and it saves automatically, you would go over to your post where you want to insert that sidebar. In this case, it's the Coleman Classic Propane Stove Review post that I showed you. As you scroll down on the right hand side in WordPress, there's a box here for sidebars. This is where you can select any sidebar you want to show on this specific post. So here are the sidebars that are available. I would click that one. Make sure you hit update after you make your changes. After you do that, then that's what gives you the functionality to, to have this specific uh, sidebar on this post. And you can see how this is really powerful. You could go through this process for any and all posts that you want to. If you do a lot of different product reviews, you can make different sidebars for different product reviews. And so you can see this is really powerful and you can use it for a lot more other functionality as well to create different sidebars for different situations on your site. So that's it, it's pretty simple. Good day.